Miss Barbara Murrell, who is a person, a community person who has been active in a study dealing with hypertension and kidney diseases uh, among African Americans, and Reverend Enoch Fuzz, who is the pastor of Corinthian Baptist Church, and who yesterday uh, uh, organized a community health festival. Uh, before we had our break, uh, Ms. Merrill, we were talking to uh, Reverend Fuzz about some of the uh, problems that he has encountered uh, dealing with his congregation. And I think among those problems, he mentioned the problem of hypertension and uh, diabetes and uh, kidney diseases and whatnot. How do you see uh, the study that you're working with? How can you see some kind of connection between what you are doing and what he is doing? I'd be very happy to talk about that, Dr. Haney. National, this is a national study, the African-American study of kidney disease and hypertension. There are 20 centers across the United States dealing with this issue. Uh, how I think that the two of us may work together, first of all, is in educating the community of the need to be more concerned about caring for themselves in terms of uh, knowing where they stand health-wise and being able to access those services that would be helpful to them. This national study is seeking those individuals who are between the ages of 18 and 70, both male and female, and individuals who participate in this study will be able to be taught how to manage their mm -hmm. blood pressure, to know the readings. They will be given equipment and taught how to use the equipment to determine what their blood pressure is. Uh, in addition to that, they will receive free medications and will have a complete physician workup in terms of kidneys. Mm -hmm. So those persons who are identified through the uh, programs mm -hmm. that Reverend Buzz has and other programs in the community <coughs> who are able to determine that they do mm -hmm. have hypertension could be referred to this study mm -hmm. so that we would be in a position through the very capable mm -hmm. staff of Vanderbilt and Meharry uh, that they would be able to follow their progress to see what stage of kidney disease. Maybe they have wonderful kidneys, and we hope so. But if not, we may be able to assist them mm -hmm. in keeping them from moving to end-state region di renal disease, which mm -hmm. is dialysis. Mm -hmm. So I think there's a very good relationship um, that can be built with all of the studies because, first of all, we can work cooperatively to educate the community and then to encourage that they seek mm -hmm. their appropriate health. This is one of several studies mm -hmm. that deals primarily with hypertension. And we want to say that hypertension is what we call in our communities high blood pressure. High blood pressure. Mm -hmm. And high blood pressure is very frequent in our communities. Mm -hmm. And while kidney disease is a silent killer, we don't have uh, many uh, symptoms that mm -hmm. we notice that would allow mm -hmm. us to go to the doctors. We know that females tend to stay on top of their health situation mm -hmm. more so than males. Mm -hmm. So we want to encourage people to know not only what, uh, how their uh, heart is or how their cholesterol is, but how their kidney function mm -hmm. is doing. And if there are mm -hmm. problems with kidney, yeah. come to studies like this at Vanderbilt mm -hmm. and Meharry so that they can be of assistance. You know, Reverend Fuzz, I think that uh, <clears throat> your health festival pointed out uh, a very, very important part in terms of the people that you were able to bring together to deal with this issue of uh, community health among African Americans. But now, I think that in all of the surveys that you've made, that we've made so far, when we talk about uh, cancer, mm -hmm. we talk about hypertension, <coughs> uh, we talk about uh, cardiovascular diseases and et cetera, uh, African Americans, for the most part, are very, very high, if not the highest, in terms of being affected by these diseases than any other group in America. Mm -hmm. Now, that being said, uh, what can we do uh, as a community to uh, make people more concerned about prevention. I think when she talked about $500 <coughs> uh, dealing with uh, uh, kidney uh, diseases and, and, and prices, could, uh, was that $50,000 uh, $50, connected with that? Well, what we'd like to try to do is to sort of catch that before it happens. So what can we do from a preventive point of view? And what has your church done mm -hmm. from a preventive point of view in terms of trying to alert people that uh, if they have cardiovascular diseases and they're not supposed to have certain things in their diet, then they ought not to do that. I mean, how can we, uh, and that's the problem. Well, you know, what <laughs> I've learned, though, is exactly what Ms. Merrill just pointed out, education. I've been involved in health promotion, African-American community health promotion for three years, and I've been learning. And one of the things that I've learned is 
The answer is education, and I think the other catch word may have been health promotion, mm -hmm. getting the information to people. Mm -hmm. And then as a pastor, what I've learned is to get people to act, we've got to get information to them over and over again. Mm -hmm. You know, the SOS becomes the same old stuff. Mm -hmm. We just got to keep saying so, it over mm -hmm. and over. Putting material, and that was one of the things I, I was proud of on yesterday because we were able to put brochures, pamphlets, information. We were able to bring good speakers and to just, uh, again, to sow seeds mm -hmm. of information on how you can become better. The other thing that things like this health festival and health promotion teams mm -hmm. and churches throughout, com throughout the community are doing is that we are getting people to, this is a self-help effort. Mm -hmm. The African-American community and women have been the last to receive mm -hmm. consideration in healthcare and all other areas of the society. Mm -hmm. Well, there comes a time when we mm -hmm. must help ourselves. Mm -hmm. And I think there've been lots of efforts where there was self-help, but especially in the healthcare industry, mm -hmm. what I've learned is that African-American community ought to, let me say in a vernacular, jump on this. Mm -hmm. And mm -hmm. if, if you can ever pull yourself up by your bootstraps, mm -hmm. this is an area where I think we really can mm -hmm. make a difference if it's really true what mm -hmm. all the health educators and health professionals and mm -hmm. health industry is saying to me <clears throat> mm -hmm. that we need education and promotion. Mm -hmm. Then let's do education, let's do promotion, let's do PR, not just now, there's a big effort with young people, with children, mm -hmm. so that we can tr raise up a new generation. But, and, and with the poor, there's usually a big effort. But mm -hmm. the middle class, the black middle mm -hmm. class, we've got to put in, and those are the people who can really be successful mm -hmm. with self-help, the mm -hmm. black middle class. Mm -hmm. I think that you, who, the listeners who, are, who call mm -hmm. themselves the black middle class, mm -hmm. can really learn mm -hmm. what things you can do and they can make a difference. I'm talking to people, I've met people mm -hmm. who've changed their behaviors, their lifestyles. Mm -hmm. Yesterday, we were able to present a healthy uh, menu mm -hmm. and uh, what was it called? Oven baked chicken. Mm -hmm. uh, mm -hmm. Great, <laughs> okay. you know, uh, just like, I'm not oven baked, oven, oven fried, fried chicken. chicken. That, there we go, it was good. I mean, it tastes just like regular fried Very chicken and, and hot water cornbread mm -hmm. without oil. Mm -hmm. You know, you cook it and- Very good. And, and let's uh, uh, make preparations here for the uh, second break that we have. And after we come back, we'll continue to talk about uh, the grant and some of the other things. But uh, we'll be back uh, shortly after this break. <laughs> 